And now I'd like to introduce David Yellen, the president of Marist College. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Marist's 73rd commencement exercises. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the passing last month of Dr. Richard Foy, President Emeritus of Marist. Dr. Foy was the second president of the college, serving from 1958 to 1979. He was the youngest president in the country when he was selected. Dr. Foy oversaw Marist's development into a modern residential college. He was a towering figure in the history of our college community, as well as an outstanding teacher, mentor, and human being. The Marist College community will miss him. Today, we gather to celebrate the members of the class of 2019 and all of their outstanding achievements. We should remember, however, that they did not make it this far on their own. The support of family and friends has played an important role in our graduates being here today. To acknowledge that support, each graduate has selected one person who played a special role during their educational journey, and these individuals have been given, a red, given red and white honor cords. Will all of those wearing honor cords please stand and be recognized? I'd also like now to invite all parents, grandparents, spouses, significant others, and children of members of the class of 2019 to also stand and be recognized. We, we should also salute the faculty of Marist College. At the core of the Marist educational experience are the relationships between faculty and students. Our faculty are incredibly dedicated to the education and development of our students. Would all the faculty present please stand and let the class of 2019 show you their thanks. I'd also like to thank the singers and musicians with us tonight who helped make these occasions, these ceremonial occasions so wonderful. And, and finally, I'd like to thank Kate Donham, Judy Ivankovich, and the members of the commencement committee for, for all of their great work organizing tonight's ceremony. People often comment on how our commencement ceremonies seem to run like clockwork, and all I can tell you is there's a, a lot of hard work behind the face of that clock to make sure it runs so well. And I'd also like to note that in honor of our graduates, the lights on the historic Mid-Hudson Bridge will be lit tonight in Marist red and white. Now if I can just say a few words to our graduates. It's been our uh, pleasure to see you through your education here at Marist. We've been immensely impressed with both who you are as people and what you've accomplished. To highlight just a few of the things you've done, you've studied and mastered complex subjects, you've done significant research projects, and presented that research at academic conferences, You've assumed leadership positions in student organizations and honor societies. You've participated in countless hours of volunteer work for community organizations. And many of you, particularly the group tonight, has done this while working full time or raising a family or maintaining a home and participating in civic and community activities or all of the above. In addition, many of you have overcome significant obstacles and hardships to be here today during the course of your education. Now we know that you've, gra you've grown tremendously during your time at Marist, but it always serves a good reminder that commencement is only the beginning of your journey. 
As you move ahead in your career, education, and family, you'll have the opportunity to achieve great things and really make a difference in the world. As you do so, I, I urge you to pay attention to three R's, although not the three R's that you may have learned in elementary school. The first is relationships. Take care of your personal relationships because at the end of the day, they really are more important than any award or career achievement. But speaking of your career, uh, building and maintaining strong professional relationships can be as or more important than your knowledge and even your hard work uh, in the workplace. So seek out good mentors to help you in, the, in your career and in time become a good mentor yourself. The second R is resiliency. Just like we hope this tent is resilient in this strong wind tonight. Uh, we, we all fail many times along the way, but the true test of character is how we respond to that failure. What can you learn from your missteps, and how can you do better the next time? And the third R is reinvention. What you learn during college is less important, or graduate school, is less important than learning how to learn. Now more than ever, education must be a lifelong endeavor. Today, the pace of change in society is faster than imaginable. Uh, many of our children or grandchildren will never own a car or even drive because of new technology. Many of you will work in jobs that don't even exist yet. That's why it's so important to keep learning and, and keep adapting to the inevitable of change. You're graduating into an interdependent, complex world that faces many daunting challenges. I'm optimistic, however, about what happens when people of character and intelligence apply themselves to solve the toughest problems. And you've demonstrated here at Marist that you are people of character and intelligence. You've helped make Marist a better place already, and now you go out and do the same for our nation and for the world. So good luck and congratulations to the class of 2019.